More recently, you've said um, the battle of the sexes, and it's a wonderful quote, is a free-for-all with everybody involved. So you don't have the good guys of the girls and the bad guys of the boys, that very simplistic view at all. I mean, everybody behaves badly and some people behave very well. That hasn't made you immensely popular always with the sisterhood, has it? One would have I don't to know. You know, I hear this from time to time, but I've never actually had anybody come out and try to pull out my hair. <laughs> You know, they so wouldn't dare. If, well, I don't know. They, they very well might if they felt that strongly mm. about it. Uh, but I think we also have this, this piece of mythology that there is something called the sisterhood, that it's monolithic, that they have these very extreme views, and that they're always just around the corner waiting to sort of jump on you and beat out your brains. But I've never actually met anybody like that, so I don't know where they are. They've been very polite. They haven't come and accosted you. Not me. Yeah. No, not <laughs> me. And, uh, in fact, I, I think this kind of monolithic sort of sisterhood person is, is a bit of an invention, to tell you the truth. Surfacing your, your second book, rather, was claimed as a great feminist book. And the timing was probably... Well, it had women in it. Yes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this was 1972. Yes. Anything with women in it was a great feminist book. You know that. I do. That's, it's, it is true, isn't it? And those central characters of yours that were women, it's because that is what you want to talk about, I suppose. Well, women are human beings. Yes. They're half the human this race. This might be news, It's not very to difficult yes. to write a novel without any women in it. Even Moby Dick has got women in it. Has Moby Dick got women? Yes, they're the female <laughs> whales. There's this wonderful <laughs> section in the oh, middle of Moby Dick, which is about the female whales. You know, you, you can't just write a book with, with no women in it. Uh, any more than you can write one. It's very difficult with no mm, men in yes. it, even if it's about a nunnery. You you know, there, there, yes. are the, there is this yes. other idea circling mm. outside the gates. You can't just divide them off. In 1972, same year we were talking about, you published a book of criticism, one of the very early books of criticism on Canadian literature called Survival. And it seemed to me it had lots of parallels. Ca Canada and women, I mean, feminism and Canadian nationalism and various other um, sort of struggles for recognition have certain parallels, I think. But one of the things that was very striking about that book was your identification of who is a victim, of recognising that you're a victim, but then doing something about it, getting on, not just lying back and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Now, in 25 years, has there been an enormous change, both in the recognition of Canadian writing which I would have thought that, but women as well, would you say? I would say undoubtedly there have been a number of changes. Mm. Not all of them would make you rejoice necessarily. Uh, but when you're looking at attitudes rather than actual salaries mm. and who gets employed and things like that, which is very difficult right now, I think, um, not just for women, but for all kinds of people who are being Thing, jobs are shifting yeah. around because of technological and global change, blah, blah, blah. You've read all about that. Uh, but with, with women, I think you can see it most clearly in attitudes of younger women, a lot of whom think, you know, feminist is granny, basically. Mm. These are now old women who had, had these ideas. But in fact, um, the attitudes have percolated down into their lives such an extent they don't even recognize them as being ideas that somebody once thought up and got in trouble for. It's just life. Uh, it's this just, is just well, you know, is. It, yes. any, any boy that they're going out with who comes up, out with some of these ideas, they just think he's a jerk. <laughs> and the other area where you can see it clearly is foot gear. Oh, they wear very me. sensible yes. shoes. Yes, they do, don't they? Yes. Pretty and dresses their, and... Their toes aren't all going me. like this, the way people's <laughs> toes went in the in the 50s from wearing those high heels that kind of threw you forward on your toes. <laughs> and uh, they wear these really quite formidable kinds of shoes, which they walk around very confidently. And they could run in, run for buses. They in. can run. They, they, they could give you a good healthy kick if they <laughs> felt like it in these shoes. You 